Yo lifestyle. That civic gapped you in the last video. What's going on, man? Everyone's talking about this L I took. What are you talking about? Car's healthy, that's a W. Finally took the car out to Mexico and had some fun. Only got a couple runs in. And yes, the Civic did get me. Can't wait to go out again. Hopefully we get some decent weather. It's been okay out here, but hopefully we get some clear days on the weekends because that's the only time I can take this car out. Just busy during the week, guys. For all the newcomers to this channel, first of all, welcome. My name is Deontay. And this is my 2008 Acura TL Type S. Uh, we just boosted it this year. That last video was my very first time actually taking it out and pushing it to like the limit, you know, like actually getting on it. She scares me and she scares me mostly because she needs the alignment and I want to get all the suspension and stuff reinforced. So I got some things coming on the way, like the progress rear sway wire. Before we talk about new stuff coming to the car, first of all, thank you guys for commenting and showing support on the latest um i know you guys don't get to see the car out much and that is my goal to continue taking the car out more and more give you guys that good content and the best way to show you guys support is just liking and commenting simple as that free the very small it's a very small community of tl guys actually posting them out in mexico or even just building a tl these days so um if you guys do like the content and you guys want to see more the best way to show support is just liking and commenting simple so today's video we're just gonna take the car out drive it practice a little bit get some polls in for you guys um, and talk about some things that the car needs car needs an alignment that's one problem that we have I'm gonna upgrade the rear sway bar to the progress one a little bit thicker should help a lot with the body roll and keeping the back down um, we got to do one big problem if you look down all right if you look down right here, it's almost like the, the back wheels tilt in a little bit. Get the rear adjustable um, arm down here. I have the upper one, but I didn't get the lower one. Sink in the back side a little bit. When I'm aired out all the way, it's touching. On this side, it's not touching. So I definitely think that'll help with getting it straightened up. Second thing is gonna be this short shifter. So I'm gonna try to show it. Let me know what you guys think it is. Pretty sure it might be, if there's air in a the system, you would really know, I feel like. But anyways, look at that. It's like it like it almost goes in. Okay, second feels pretty good. See that click? That's how it should feel. Sometimes it's like mushy though. It's inconsistent. Now it's just like extra aggressive. See that? I shouldn't have to be pulling it this hard. We're also running the hybrid racing shifter cables. You guys can kind of see them down there. Um, there's also a receipt that fell down there, but that's not gonna get in the way. We also need to get our gauges right here. We have the piece. We just need to route everything and get all the uh, feed going. So that needs to happen. Um, in terms of going a little bit faster, I could lose like 200 pounds, probably with the back seats out, the passenger seat out, floor mats, um, the wood piece I have in the back. Uh, I can't think of anything else right now, but I'm sure there's other places I can lose some weight. This looks dirty. But honestly, fixing the manifold and adding like another 30 horses will probably cover all that. So I think really I, I don't want to turn this car into like the Friday night race car. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep it really clean. But every time I take it out, if I were to take more L's, I just want to make it faster. I just, I just need to get more content of this car. I really want some just roller content of this car. Unfortunately, I have like nobody to call up and be like, hey bro, let's go make this content. Other than people who do video and stuff, they're gonna want like 500 bucks for a night for like three reels and like a little short film. Like they want me to do the whole package and stuff around here. Like I just don't have a buddy to call up and be like, hey bro, let's, let's go shoot something. And I know you guys will say Cisco, but He's on a bigger and badder things now. He lives a lot farther from the shop and he lives like 30 minutes from the shop and after work, he's just not down anymore to come film the car. You know what I'm saying? Like we had our, we had our long nights already working on this thing. Four 
4K has a hard time capturing in the dark. I had to swap the lens too because that's the only one with stabilizer in it. I barely drive this car when you get some more seat time behind it. So it's like right around 4,000 RPM. Guess what? There's that stall right there. Building boost, building boost, and then goes. But what we're gonna do in third gear, we're gonna maintain 40 miles an hour while our other foot is on the brake a little bit, allowing it to stay at 40 miles an hour, but giving it a little bit more gas and building more boost. We're gonna tighten fuel cap, are you serious? Warm the car up real quick. second i just think honestly if i went like 17s and a bigger tire in the front done deal like you guys were saying in the last video you guys see it all right brake 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 YouTube clips, shorts. 